Good morning, gang. Happy Tuesday on this channel. So, yes, you get two videos. <laughs> you might have three because the one that I was originally recorded for this morning is still sitting in limbo waiting to be approved by our overlords. So, yeah, it's been sitting in approval status for mm, about 12 hours now. But there's another one I want to talk to you about, and this one's kind of important. Uh... We all know socialism is trying to take over the country, all right? There's no question about that. And so what you're getting now is groups trying to organize, i.e. unionize, if you will, somewhat, to hold, the, hold everyone's feet to the fire so they can have some of their outrageous demands, okay? So... Uh, Somebody asked about this overnight, and I had been looking at some of this before because there's been rumors out there about a trucker's strike, and I can't find anything about that. I mean, there were rumors of a trucker's strike in January. There were rumors of a trucker's strike in July. Nothing ever came of either one of them. Uh, but this one might have some legs. And so there's a what's being called a National General Strike. Uh, you can look this up on their website. They have it. It's called, the website is octoberstrike.com. So what this is, like I said, is just full-blown socialism. And I mean, you can even see on the website, I mean, right at the very beginning, it's the, you know, the raised fist in solidarity, you know, the communist raised fist symbol, okay? But they are calling for a general strike of anybody, everybody, okay? And they come up and say, why strike? You know, and so they give a list, which is mostly bullshit, but, you know, uh, but I'll just give you these real quick. The United States is the only developed company that requires zero paid off for maternity leave, Okay. Unemployment rose to 14% in 2021 because companies refused to raise wages. No, that's not why unemployment rose to 20, uh, to 14%. That would be the idiot in the White House. Uh, but that's beside the point. Only 100 corporations are responsible for 71% of all global emiss uh, emissions. Yeah. Take a look where those companies are. They're not in the United States. Okay? So, again... Nice job trying to twist there, okay? Federal minimum wage hasn't been raised since, since 2009, okay? 40 million Americans live at or below the national poverty line, okay? This may or not be true. I'm not going to waste my time looking up something like that. But again, you know, if you're trying to live on a minimum wage job because you didn't want to learn to do anything else or to have any ambition to do anything else, I'm sorry, but I'm not shedding a tear for you, okay? Pharmaceutical companies are extorting patients for medications. And I think it's more the government that's doing that, but okay. <clears throat> the average American is $90,460 in debt just to afford basic necessities like housing, food, clothing, education, and medical bills. Uh, I hate to tell you this, basic, basic necessities are housing, food, and water, okay? Clothing, okay, goodwill, works fine. Education, that's up to you, but God knows if you can breathe, you can, you know, get some sort of education to something, all right? Medical bills, but the average American being $90,000 in debt, that's probably accurate. Why? Because a whole bunch of people think that that brand new car is what they need, or, you know, they need the McMansion or something like that, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I'm not buying all this. But, you know, in an effort to combat this tyranny, we're proposing a national strike starting on October 15th, 2021. Okay, socialism, okay? You can imagine that the squad has something to do with this or certainly supports it, okay? This is what they want, okay? And it's kind of funny. Our goals. A 25% corporate tax rate, no loopholes. 
since when do the workers get to dictate tax policy? Okay, because it's even funnier when you get down here with what they're talking about. You know, usually tax policy is written up by people who have, oh, I don't know, some sort of knowledge, experience, education in accounting, economics, tax law, not some guy who can put a cheesy website together, okay? You know, cer certainly not, tax law is certainly not written by the general worker, okay? Free health care for all. Okay, let me tell you something there, socialist group. There is no such thing as free. Somebody has to pay for it, okay? Because that doctor ain't going to work for free, you know? All that medical supplies, you know, the the Medtronics and the Johnson & Johnsons and the Becton Dickinsons and everybody who makes all those medical products that are used in your doctor's office and hospitals and stuff like that, they don't do it for free. Somebody's got to pay them to do it, okay? So, yeah, there ain't no such thing as free health care. I hate to tell you this. Yeah. The only difference is, is where the money comes out in your paycheck. If it doesn't come out in health insurance costs, it comes out in taxes. All right. So there ain't no such thing as free. So that one, again, you guys are full of shit. 12 weeks paid maternity or paternity leave. Welcome to Europe. Okay. Uh, you know, why don't we just add in there 12 weeks vacation too? You know, hey, why don't we just set it up so you get a paycheck but don't ha ever have to go to work? Oh, wait a minute. We already have that. Never mind. That would be the idiotic federal unemployment benefits that's causing the problems we have right now. Never mind. A $20 minimum wage. Correct me if I'm wrong. Weren't you guys screaming for $15 minimum wage for the last couple of years? And now that so many companies gave you a $15 minimum wage, now you want $20? I'm going to tell you this flat out right now. $20,000 is a $40,000 a year job. You are not worth $40,000 a year to ask me if I want fries with my Big Mac or to ring up my groceries. I'm sorry, that is not a $40,000 a year job, period, all right? You ain't worth it. You want to make $40,000 a year? Go get yourself a trade and you can do it. Those jobs, the McDonald's jobs, the grocery clerk's jobs, things like that, were never meant to be a career. Those jobs were meant for high school kids, college kids to have a part-time job, for retirees to do, you know, to do something to supplement their income, whatever it was. It was not meant to make a career out of. All right. You want twenty dollars a minimum wage, you know, or twenty dollar wages, go get a skill. Go learn to be a plumber, an electrician, a carpenter, uh, whatever it would be. You know, go learn accounting, do something like that. But do not tell me that, you know, Standing standing at the fast food counter is worth 20 bucks an hour. It ain't, all right? Stricter environmental regulations on corporations, bans on single use in microplastics and limited emissions. Okay, again, none of this works, all right? California tried the straw ban, okay? We've seen places that won't give you plastic silverware. Uh, limited emissions, all right? I tell you this, we do not have the capacity for electric cars and you know all this sort of stuff and you know gee where do you think the electricity comes from oh yeah most of it comes from coal all right solar doesn't work it's not it's not big enough scale you can't power the country on it all right period uh so what they're telling everybody to do is don't go to work on october 15th don't participate in economic activity starting on october 15th Contact your local representative and spread the word. Good. You know what? Don't go to work. Don't expect any unemployment. Don't participate in economic activity. Starve to death. I don't give a shit. Okay? Socialism, you know, this is, this is the good thing about socialism, is when they line you up in front of a wall. That's what we need to do with socialists. Have a good Tuesday. Pinball out.